One of the new features of the EMC VSI plugin version 7 is the ability to provision data stores by using VPlex VIAS. In this demo, we will go ahead and use this wizard to provision a data store to show you how easy it is to do by using this, this toolkit. First, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and set the data store name. So we'll say, we'll call this a VIAS test 2. Uh, for the demo, for the for the purpose of the demo, it then asks you which uh, storage subsystem you want to use. In this case, we have a Vplex Metro, so it is noticed that and it is giving it is giving me the information about that. If you had multiple storage subsystems, you could go ahead and choose which one you want. In this demo, I just have a single Vplex Metro so storage subsystem. Uh, in this case, we're only going to provision VMFS version 5. Next, we need to choose the cons consistency group. Um, and as you can see, it has, the, it has the ability to show you both VPlex local, which is a single cluster. The example in this case uh, would be, for example, the ESX underscore development is only on cluster 2, or something that is on both sites, for example, recover point underscore production. Well, we're going to go ahead and search and filter, and we're going to search for ESX infrastructure only on cluster two, uh, because that's the that's the uh, uh, host that I want to go ahead and provision to. I then select the capacity. Um, so in this case, I'm going to provision 101 gigabytes of capacity. I can also give give me the ability to choose high availability uh, if I had multiple systems set up. Uh, in this case, I only have a single storage subsystem, so you can see that the option for high availability is grayed out. I then select the next screen, and it then and it then gives me the example the uh, the view of my cluster. So in this case, I have an extreme I/O storage array here. Um, I can correct it, uh, figure out what I want to create. So I go ahead and select the pool, create a thin volume. And I will go ahead and click next. It gives me the storage views. So it's automatically determined that to the host that I want to go ahead and connect to, this is the storage view. So it automatically determines that for me. And then at this point, it's it's ready to go. It's asking me to confirm all the information, the, the data store name, the size, uh, the storage subsystem I'm provisioning to, um, and the details about what the backend storage will look like. Uh, and so in this case, I can go ahead and click Finish. And the system will go off and provision that for me. It will go off in the backend and provision on to the Extreme I.O. It'll provision up through the VPlex. It'll perform all the configuration tasks. It will then go ahead and rescan on each of the individual hosts of this infrastructure group um, for new devices. It will create the VMFS and it will mount the data store, all directly from the vSphere web client using the EMC VSI plugin version 7. No uh, use of a uh, element manager such as the, the uh, VPlex console or the Extreme Isle console was needed. It can all be done directly from the EMC VSI plugin version 7. One of the new features of the VSI version 7 plugin for the vSphere web client is the ability to go ahead and view VPlex Metro provision data stores. In this case, I've already provisioned a data store. Uh, and in this particular environment, we have a VPlex Metro, with uh, which it means that it has two separate clusters and in a Metro configuration. Um, but in this case, I'm only provisioned against one of those Metro legs. Um, so I'm provisioning just a local device uh, in this case, you can see all the information that I would see if I was at the VPlex console. Things like the capacity, what a consistency group I provisioned it for, all the status of it, what the backend storage in it. So that view is all provided directly to the VMware administrator without going into the VPlex console. Um, but for the purposes of demo, I will also go into the console and show you that that same information is available here. So now I'm in the uh, Unisphere for VPlex console, and you'll see the same information. If I go ahead and click in here, it'll say it'll show you the exact same information that you're seeing in the in the v, uh, VSI plugin, the new version version 7.0.